Welcome back to Brooke and Jake Make, where I'm not Brooke. And I'm not Jake. So today we are going to mess around with a little more resin because we left with a lot more questions than we thought we would on the last one. Resin take two. Resin take two. This time we are back with a game plan. We laid out everything that we want to test so that this time we leave with less questions unanswered and hopefully we satisfy our desire to gain a little extra knowledge here and learn everything we can about resin on our own. We probably could have covered a lot of these by just researching other YouTube videos or articles online, but, but we, we wanted to have it all on one place. Yeah, I'm much more on hands person. We'll play with it, mess around with it, and see it happen, other than just get told, which has its place in time. We did pick up a couple extra items. We picked up some alcohol inks to go with our acrylic inks. These are supposed to dye a little bit better, and we want to see how that goes. We also picked up syringes because I want to use these molds that we just picked up. I want to play around with getting the resin at different kind of heights and fluidities, and hopefully this will be near the end and we'll know it's going to make it transparent so that we can do a resin inside of a resin and get a little more motion. That's the hope. that the acrylic ink is one with like the smaller amount that we're planning on doing it's not really going to show up but also the larger amount is going to blow up again with the alcohol ink i think it's going to be pretty much transparent <laughs> the whole way there you think six six drops is going to still be transparent yeah i think it's going to be pretty close to transparent with six drops I also think it's going to do something weird because like alcohol ink is supposed to like make cells inside of the resin like when you drop it on top so like I feel like just mixing the alcohol ink inside of the resin and pouring is going to like do something real weird. Like separation? Like a weird look. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. I definitely, I'm assuming 10 drops is what's going to make the alcohol ink kind of explode. Not the, the alcohol. The acrylic ink. The acrylic ink explode again and that's really what I want to find out. Can we use any alcohol? Mmm. And Can we acrylic. use acrylic ink? <laughs> or is it all need to be yeah, alcohol ink? It has to be alcohol ink. Yeah. I think it all has to be alcohol ink, but we'll find out. All right, Let's I'm ready to get started. started.
looks like um like a little alien dude. Looks like Gur. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> If you don't know who Gur is, you're too old or you're too young. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. What if I do like... Whoa. Whoa. So, wait, do it inside of your orange. That's cool. Oh, it that ate looks it. so cool! Whoa. Real life color change! This is awesome! something no so he had something sent to him that was a cube that he turned into like a ball of fire yeah and it looked like there was a heart made in it so i was curious oh. if it was made with a syringe or if you did it in tiny tiny layers that's satisfying i could that's draw all so day cool. with it it's like crazy it's a fat pool noodle it's so fat I love it. I want to cut into this and I'm going to do a little swirl yeah. on top. Growling at growling over there. That's so cool. Look at that. I sucked up less. But then I wanted to play with it so much oh, more. <laughs> do you want to? There's purple. You can add purple okay. to the top. That, I love it. I love it. That is, that is fun. You're I don't know. so excited. Yes. I don't know how you can do, I don't know how you made a heart. Oh, no. Yeah. So you're going to have to have like almost glass, right? You're going to be looking through glass with a super long needle up here, pressing. Yeah. And like arching just tiny little movements to make hearts yeah, and shapes in it. Yeah, you have to be like super it. precise oh, for it. That's you can so almost cool. see it kind of down in the mold. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be able to see it on here yet, but I'm sure it will be seen at the end. But oh yeah, that's going like through. Yeah, you can see yeah. the lines. And, oh, that is exciting. <laughs> I like that a lot. Transparent plus really dark and vivid yeah. colors. That's really cool. Mm, <laughs> I'm ready. Let's do this. <laughs>
flexible. It's very flexible. Ooh, I like that. I don't think it's supposed to be flexible like that. Well, that's. It looks like we, uh, it looks like the alcohol ink just pooled, but <laughs> nothing's on the bottom, it's just personal. So, I was it turned out pretty good. going for a marble look with green and black, somehow it turned into blue. Maybe the other side would be marble. And black, but we ended up with a oh beer! That is a really good marble effect. So as long as you only stare only at this side, bottom. that looks good. That looks so cool. This is good though. This, this looks so good. I'll remember that. So that's a favorite. So that's our... Wow. That is so much glitter. But it's so not worth it. It's so no, not No, because it just pulled on the bottom. If it was clear, it would have been prettier. Because like some of it got like stuck in the center. Which would be really cool. Like it looks like it kind of looks like a snow globe almost, where it's, it's like all falling. In time. Yeah, like it's like all falling. Like you froze a snow globe at a certain spot. something to show up on the bottom, you should kind of push alcohol ink through a little bit mm -hmm. and get something that's kind of like this, but don't use quite as much alcohol ink maybe as the top of this has, but... And I would say like the biggest thing going across all of these is there's a bad side mm -hmm. and there's a good side. Like yeah one side is always you're gonna have more of a draw or an appeal right to one side like this one has like the little cartoon guy on it but this kind of plain on the back plain. this one amazing marble effect so cool. it looks so it's it really does. awesome i like it it's <laughs> pretty awesome but then like but then that's like science therapist block on the back it's, <laughs> it's just weird it's ink, ink, ink blot, blot test <laughs> sorry ink blot test <laughs> and then this one Fun party oh, side, yeah. but, but then, like, kind of plain kind of throughout. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Phoebe's make great little mm -hmm. honeycomb oh, casting yeah. sets, but do a layer of clear on the bottom. Or a layer of like your color on the bottom. A yeah. layer of something. Yeah. And then your cast, whatever you're casting, you're casting. Like maybe even let it, I think it's called kicking, let it do what it's supposed to for a okay. bit. Add what you want to cast on it, and then lay over. Because the yeah. otherwise, you're gonna have some sort of texture on the bottom. Yeah. Which maybe that's what you want for your project, but it's definitely not what we want in our next one. We also learned that acrylic ink does work. You just can't use that much. Yep. Uh, yeah. I was super disappointed that there was not a big explosion when I came out here. I and I told them that there it exploded. Did you tell? How yeah, since I told you I had I had to come in and see a sneak peek because I just I had to know I had to know that was the first do. time. Oh, you thought that there was going to be a big explosion this exactly. time. That yeah yeah. yeah. Okay. So I was disappointed because like I walked out, did my thing, came back in, looked over, and I saw it. And I was like, oh, they all look good, and then it hit me. Yeah. Wait, they all look good from Most here. Three were supposed to explode. Oh, yeah, I was like. I wanted the whole table to be covered, yeah. so we had to redo it. Uh -huh. But it didn't happen, which is good. I it, mean, it is good. It we gives got us, all of this out of it. It gives um, us something else to work with. Yeah. 
So. And then we learned about the glitter to use a lighter glitter and not like a heavier glitter. Yep. So that way it doesn't all sink to the bottom yeah, as much. Filters through. Yeah. Because like this definitely did sink to the bottom on this one, but not like it's definitely more filtered through than what this one is. Agreed. And then the silicone mold, use a shiny mold. Use ones that are actually meant for resin. Don't use baking molds that don't have that shiny to them. Or, or uh, if if it's a baking mold that's super shiny. I guess if it does shiny, have that shine to it, it probably would work. Yeah. Or if you're making your own silicone mold, just make sure it's really shiny. I don't know how to make molds, but maybe it's something we'll try in the future. Maybe. It could be fun. It could be. Another thing that we learned was the difference between different kinds of epoxies. With, we use the same glitter just to test it out. We got one epoxy from Total Built and another one from Home Depot. And the one from Home Depot is supposed to be clear epoxy. And the one from Total Boat is more of a yellowy one, which you can definitely tell between the two. This one's the Total Boat one and this one's the uh, Home Depot one. But the Home Depot one still turned out yellow, which was interesting. So I think it was the glitter that made it that yellow color, like just that little bit of yellow, because when we used the clear on this one, it turned out very clear. And as we're about to show you, these ones turned out really clear. And those were both with the Home Depot one. Going into sanding, and if there was any benefit or difference between sanding or unsanded, no, is the answer for us, yeah, at least on these small of a work piece. No they both have the same clarity and quality. One's not shinier than the other. And the top coat didn't do a whole lot for a color difference for us. On this one, you're not gonna be able to see it up there, but there is a shine here and then a dry spot here where the epoxy didn't really, or the resin didn't really go cover. over and cover it. So it's actually faded there. Yeah. So it does add a gloss to it, which, yeah, which we expected. Good. Yeah, good to know, but it didn't like, change the necessarily brightness of the pigment like yeah. we were expecting. We thought it would magnify or make it more vibrant. Yeah. So what we'll probably do going forward is when we want a more shiny look than rather than a muted color, we'll do a super, super thin top layer that's just mm -hmm. barely enough to cover the top versus this one's pretty thick, pretty shiny, but it it feels bulky. Yeah. You don't really need it. So not too much difference between no. sanded and unsanded for us. Nope. And then the last thing we wanted to go through was our alcohol ink ones with the one drop and the three drops and the six drops. They turned out super, super ugly and brown and gross. And we used a purple alcohol ink, yep. but you can tell a little bit in the six drop one. But the other two with one drop and three drops have like a pink tint rather than a purple tint, yeah. which is weird. But also, we were at the very end of our hardener amount in our Total Bill bottle, so that was right before we switched over to the one from Home Depot, and I think that's what made it that brown color, because the hardener's kind of like a darker color almost. Right, and so I think what happened is, it's a one-to-one -one ratio, but because they were squirting out slightly different amounts near the end of the bottle life, it was more hardener to epoxy resin, and because that hardener is so tinted, yeah. it brought out that brown color for sure. So you can use alcohol ink because we used it in this one with the glitter yep. and it, the color turned out great. And I think I did a decent amount of drops in this one. I did more than six, I believe, but it didn't turn brown. So I'm fairly certain that you can use that. Alcohol ink just on its own. So yeah. That's Wouldn't it. that prove that we can use alcohol? Ink? It does prove that, yeah. Okay. This one and actually this one too, because we used white alcohol ink on this one. Mm -hmm. On the base. Alright, so that about sums it up. Everything we learned here is hopefully valuable to you because it's really valuable yeah. to us and going forward for our projects. I really think there's a lot of benefit in doing this sort of test, and I encourage you if you want to get into resin or anything along those lines, acrylic pores really would be included in that, test it yourself. Go ahead, play around, mm -hmm. do a bunch of random things that don't matter if you mess up so that when you do your real projects and have a fun time with those, you can go in with more confidence and less uncertainties. Yep. Certainties. Certainties. Un, with less un... Uncertainties. You can go in more confidently. <laughs> I will have tips on some of the things that we learned that we didn't include in this video and how to clean up afterwards. 
in the description below. And remember to do something that makes you feel happy every day. Bye! Bye!